What's happening everybody? Welcome back and thanks for watching. In the last video I had to scram out real quick to be continued in the end. We had just got the nitrous bottle uh, siphon tube out, got the plumbing all done for the air ride and uh, all the wiring done. I still need to clean it up and I still need to get them installed. I know it's been a long time and I'm sorry about that. Like I said in the last video, I lost my job and I've been kind of concentrating on getting uh, a new opportunity opened up for, for myself. Anyways, today we are going to get the nitrous bottles installed. Uh, we might work on some seat brackets or the, uh, the oil cooler. This car has come along a long way. It's coming along very, very, very good. I, I really like all of the work that's been done and the quality of work. But I am super, super behind schedule. Um, today is my son's birthday. And I really wanted to get this car delivered to him today. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen because of the condition of it. I've still got some things that I need to accomplish before I can take it up there. Hopefully before the snow sets in here in about a month or so. Um, <clears throat> I've still got to clean up all of the, the wires and everything, rewrap them in nice loom, make them all nice and pretty and tucked. Uh, I still have to cover the big hole in the back, get some graphics on it, some axles in it. I need all new axles. I probably could rebuild the ones I got, but we'll see what I can find online as far as boots or, or new axles. But we definitely have to get the trans cooler in and the oil cooler and some fans so that we can start, uh, the, en start the engine or at least start getting it running. Now it ran before, so <clears throat> I'm sure it will again. But yeah, that's what we're going to concentrate on today. Getting the nitrous tanks, the well, the nitrous tank and the air tank installed. And uh, I still need a couple of fittings to actually put the air line to the nitrous tank. And I still need the nitrous feed line to go from the tank to the engine bay where I'll have some solenoids and some sprayers for the purge. Um, we still have to do height sensors on the on the air ride system. That's the only thing that we're left with on the air ride. So everything's done. <clears throat> Everything looks really good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on brackets today. I'm going to bend up a couple of brackets for like hopefully the uh, oil cooling, um, oil cooler and the transmission cooler. And maybe if I get real ambitious, I'll try and start making the uh, seat brackets. But first off, we're going to finish the last video by installing the uh, nitrous bottles. As you guys can see, I've already got all the, the plumbing done. Here's the, the hose that goes to the nitrous or to the air tank and the, the pressure sensor. And the ECU is already placed. I still have to lift this one more time to put the, the height sensor wire harness in and we're probably going to run that down underneath this and nice and tucked underneath and p clamped up probably with all the airlines that are uh, that are already in place This bottle is for the air. It's got the pressure cut off for the to turn on and off the uh, compressors. And I still need this fitting to uh, connect to the 3 8 line. But we can do that once it's installed. So we're gonna go ahead and slide them in.
just knocked out the <coughs> rubber. These little rubber hoses go inside of the nitrous bracket so it protects the tank from scratching it all up and, and holds it in place really well. Man, that looks good. I like the way that turned out. Let's get that pressure sensor plugged back in. And voila. This is our nice Evil Energy oil cooler, and it's going to go like right there. But I have to mock up the, I have to put the bumper kind of loosely on to where I can put this right where the hole is in the bumper so we can get some proper cool down and with as much surface area of the cooler as we can. I might have to trim these off because I noticed that it's really long and we're going to have to put it in this way. So I'm going to trim these off and make some brackets to hold it to the frame and maybe the uh, headlight bucket. <clears throat> but I have to make sure that we're not interfering with the headlight and that we get uh, a big as surface area as we can over the hole in the bumper so we can get proper cool down.
Now that's how you make a bracket. That's not too shabby. I was gonna put three, but I have to straighten out that hole. It's a little bit off, so I can't get the rivnet in there. But that looks pretty good. There's a slight little gap there, but when I tighten up the bumper and everything, I can adjust the bracket a little bit and take up that little slot. And I have to get shorter hoses because those hoses are way too long. But I did cut up, I don't know where I got it. I think I got it outside, but now I get to do the uh, tranny cooler. Looks pretty good for the oil cooler. I like the, can't really see it because it's black, but 
fits the hole nicely. Intercooler is nice, badass. I gotta still connect all the charge piping and everything, but yeah, she's looking good. She's looking real good. Now I've I tried M5s. They weren't perfect, so they got uh, messed up, cross threaded and whatnot. So I had to re-drill them out and use M6s, but M6s are bigger and they're holding it down way better. So and it doesn't move, doesn't move at all. So we're good to go. All right, everybody. Well, we got two things done today. We got the nitrous bottles installed and the oil cooler installed. But I ran out of time for today, so I'm going to bounce out of here and go run some errands. And we'll be back probably tomorrow or the next day to try and get the transmission cooler added and maybe clean up some of the wires and put nice pretty loom, wire loom over them. But other than that, uh, I'm going to call it a day today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, here pretty soon we're going to be doing turbocharged piping and uh, all new hoses and belts and hopefully getting this thing fired up here pretty soon.